If you play Siamese Mahjong, one way that you can practice playing the whole card is doing an exercise I call Siamese Force. This is where you pick categories in advance and you make it happen for those categories. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. So let's do Siamese Force. We're going to pick six categories because you play two hands at one time when you play Siamese Mahjong. Let's see what we get. Consecutive run, quince, singles and pairs, three, six, nine, odds, year. Ooh, this will be fun. All right. We'll just say we're the dealer. So I'm going to get 28 random tiles. Ooh, three jokers. We might be able to do a quint here. Okay, I think we could do a quint. We've got four uh, green dragons, three sixes, east, west. So we could use one or the other here. And then for the second option, let's see, we've got one, nine, seven. I want to build around the multiples if I can. Let's see here, seven, eight, seven, seven, eight, lots of sevens and eights, but not a lot of nines. I was thinking we could do the seven, eight or the nine, nine, eight pair hand. Let's see, um, seven, five, I was thinking maybe we could do, we could potentially do something consecutive with seven, seven, eight, nine. I think what I would do, because I'm playing a quint, I would play seven, eight, nine consecutive. Okay, quint up here, consecutive run here. So we've got quints and consecutive run, joker bait right there. Get rid of all these first, and then collect seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, there's all kinds of options. I wouldn't even pick a hand. I mean, I guess if I had to pick a hand, maybe, the seven, eight, nine mixed suit hand, the, let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth one down, mixed suits, seven, eight, nine, but I really would not pick a hand until I ran out of discards. So consecutive run and quince. That's how I'd play this. If you would do something different, let me know. Just put force one and what you would do differently. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So we need to do three, six, nine odds, year, singles, and pairs. We have one joker. Okay, let's see now. We've got sixes, then we have 
two, four. Oh, there's four. Two, four, four, five, six, five, six. We have uh, almost news. I'm thinking we could maybe do. Let's see. Two, three, three, four, five. Okay, we got to make it. Oh, here we go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four with news. Two, three, four with news. We need an east very badly. These would probably have to go away. Okay, then. Then down here, leverage these sixes and fives. Let's see. Um, what about, let me see here, six and five. I mean, that screams consecutive, doesn't it? But we need three, six, nine. We need to make a three, six, nine work. There's not a lot to work with there, but if you're forcing a hand, that's what you got to do. Okay, singles and pairs, news, two, three, four, in dots. The first single and pair hand, and then down here, three, six, nine. I don't think a year would be good. We have no eights and no white dragons. For odds, we've got a pung of sixes that I think could be leveraged. We do have a pair of fives. But we have the only three we have up here and then this little guy right here. Now, let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four. If we played a, a one, three, five little odds hand, we don't have any dragons. We could play one, three, three, five. We need the three up here though. I think that would conflict with this here. I think three, six, nine is best leverage this pung. So that's kind of a long shot. We have 11 discards, which is not good, but we do have Joker bait. So nine discards with Joker bait for this three, six, nine, I think. Okay, singles and pairs. Three, six, nine. That's how I would play it. If you would do something different, right? Ran, uh, force two. Force two and what you would do differently here. Okay, next we need to do odds and the year. One white dragon. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Year and odds. So we don't need the wins. Although there is a wind hand with news. Let's just see if we can make that work. Okay. Odds and the year. Okay, news with 2018, a pair of eights. We do have one of each of the eights, and we have twos and eights. So let's put these down here, these up here, just for now. Let's put them all together. And let's put these down here. Okay, so. I think probably this eight can come down here. So we need the year here, okay? We have either cracks or bams to work with. And there are two mixed suit options that can be used. So I would play it this way. News with 2018 
or one of the first two hands. We could even maybe use this if we went with one of the mixed suit options. Then for the odds, we do have lots of odds actually. Okay, those are all the odds. I think we might need these up here. Okay, so five, seven, five, seven, three, seven. Okay, one, three, five, seven, nine. We have no nines. Let's see, five, seven, nine dragon. We have one dragon up here. So I don't think a dragon hand is gonna work. Um, we can do five, seven, nine flower, five, seven, nine flower for odds. Let's see, we could do, five, seven, I think this probably is gonna have to be joker bait, joker bait right there. Joker bait discards. I think big odds. And if that didn't come in, like numbers with fives maybe, or sevens, we've got, look at all the fives and sevens that are there. So that's how I would do it here. Too bad we don't have nines. But that's how I'd make it work. You got to make it work if you want to win a prize. Or if you want to play the whole card. Practice playing all the different categories. Year here. Odds here. We've got three discards and joker bait. But this would end up being a 579. We would need nines badly. Or jokers. I suppose. Well, we have a gap up here. We have no ones. So these jokers... Yeah, I would try not to declare them early. I would try to keep them concealed so that I can switch them in between. So we have three discards, but lots of joker bait because we can't keep it all. But that's how I would play it. If you would play it differently, write force three in the comment section and let me know how you would play these tiles. If you have a Mahjong set at home, give this exercise a try. There's a link below the video if you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet. It really is a lot of fun. It's very challenging. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an inside of the game that will give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.